Hello guys, JC here again, and we just finalized our first quarterly live session together, and we wanted to show how to use tooltips. That's a really, really cool feature within Power BI. We didn't touch this in our training, and that's why we want to bring this up in our live sessions. I was trying to, to show this during the during our session, but you know, a live uh, event, you can get your wires crossed, and that happened to me, and it was just a tiny, I was so close to, to, to show that in a brilliant way, but I got uh, uh, hindered by, by one simple step. So let's crack this on, and I'm gonna start this from the scratch so you can have that complete view how you can do that. So the aim, the objective here is I want to depict a S curve for every single row I have in my table. So mainly now you can see that this S curve is, is showing the overall project performance, right? And you can even filter that down using your slicer. I could say, oh, I just want to show control accounts level one and everything will be filtered out for that purpose, you know? But what about if I unselect this and I want to show individual S curve by each control account? If I want to put that on the report, it will be kind of thousands of, of pages, right? Because I will need to create one S curve for each of them. And that is not efficient, right? So we want to be efficient. We want to provide more insights to our audience and let's figure this out using tooltips. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create one new page. I'm gonna create this one new page and I'm gonna leverage on what I already got here. So I already got, got that, the S curve. So I'm gonna click the S curve Control C, I'm just gonna copy paste. I love doing the copy paste. I'm not gonna lie to you. I hope that I have this now here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go unselect the, the visual. I'm gonna click on the blank canvas and I'm gonna go for the formatting uh, options I got for that page, right? So if you go to formatting, then you're gonna find that you can say, uh, you can select page size, and instead of having this one, I can go to select that tooltip page size. So I'm gonna go for that one, tooltip. Now I have this, but my visual was too large, so I need to resize it to fit this in. I'm gonna move this to the, to the top. I'm gonna start uh, resizing this little by little. I don't want to miss that, so don't go too far away. I don't want to miss that. So I'm just gonna do this this way and then I can expand that a little bit to the to fill the the borders so I'm just gonna bring this one over here still a little bit more to do it's a bit tricky but when you have it there you are almost there guys so I just need to resize that one and now I can kind of bring that to the full dimension of the tooltip okay uh, you might want to also um, format a little bit the, the properties, like for example, this title is taking too much space, so I can go to the format of this visual. Now I'm, I'm selecting the visual, go to formatting and say, okay, I don't want to show the title. Uh, probably uh, the legend is too big, so I can go to the legend, say this is to size eight, that is the minimum. I want also, I want, also to go to my data labels uh, and I could just uh, change the, the, the font uh, and go for this one that is a bit smaller. Yeah, yeah just to make this more sizable for when, when you want to see that as a tooltip, right? And you can spend a little bit more time. You can go for the Y axis, the X axis um, and reduce a little bit the, the size of that. Probably want to go eight and then and um, that will help to, to also want to do that the same for the, the secondary um, a, a scale. So I can go here again, number eight, probably then that's it. Um, and that's it, let's imagine that's as we want it now. So what is the next step? Now I have the tooltip page. I need, I need now to come here and I'm just gonna repeat that my, my flow, my, the failure I had in my live session, yeah? Just for you to laugh again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there. I'm just gonna come back to my EV report. So we said that the aim was 
to display that tooltip as a graph for each of these individuals. So what I was doing in the, in the live session was I was selecting this chart, this matrix, and I was saying, okay, now that, that the next thing you need to do is go to formatting, yeah, selecting this, this matrix, and you go to tooltip, right? You activate that. I think it was a, a, a toggle off. You need to activate that, toggle this on, and then I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. And then you keep the report page. And then I was saying, oh, that if I go here, I should find my tooltip. In this case, the page number one. And that didn't work, right? And I, I, I fool, I made a fool of myself, all right? Because I was missing one single step, so close, guys, and I couldn't do that. I, I didn't remember that. So the problem is that I have to say to Power BI that that page number one is my tooltip. It's on a tooltip size of the page, that's totally fine, but I need to say, I need to determine that that page not only has that, that size of a tooltip, but also is a tooltip itself. Okay, so that's the step I missed. So I go back to page number one, and I go for, without selecting anything, yeah, this is just blank canvas, I go to the format, and then under page information, that's the one I missed. I can change the, the name. Let's say I want to change this for tooltip just to recognize that as, as this. And this is the one I missed. I didn't toggle on my tooltip setup under my page information. Bang, now we have that. Now we can come back to my EV report. Yeah, I can select now my, my matrix. Let's select this one. Once it is selected, I can go to format, scroll down up to tooltip, it's activated, but now if I leave this as report page, I need to determine what is that report page name. Now I'm gonna have this option. Now I'm gonna show here that tooltip, this tooltip page is actually a tooltip and now is showing up here in my pages, right? So now I go to tooltip, now I can display that correctly. So if you go here to each of these lines, what you're gonna find, bang, you're gonna have your tooltip as a pop-up window that's gonna show you the S-curve, individual S-curve filter out for each of the control accounts you are checking on your table. So if someone in your team wants to say, oh, you know what, JC? Yeah, that is cool that I can check the, the control account uh, number two, that level with the S-curve here, but actually I'm the manager of the control account 2.2. And uh, now if you give that, you can go here and you can show that on the fly, you can show that specific S-curve, just filtering out all the data for that control account, right? So what a beauty, right? So you have this interaction between your audience and your report and people kind of start liking that a type of reports, right? So you have that tooltip for uh, to show up as a pop-up window. It's gonna show all the information, just filter out for that one. The only thing I would recommend is that you need to kind of make a, generate awareness of that. So people generally, they don't know that that exists. So you could uh, raise awareness by just uh, telling them, training them to how to consume that report as one. Or also, I also have seen um, another alternative, you can create bookmarks. Uh, or bottoms, right? And you can say, okay, activate the uh, tooltips or you just put kind of a, a sign there, like a, a text box saying uh, hover over this um, matrix and you will find a, a tooltip. So just some indication, some heads up for people to actually consume this great feature. I, I really love that. I actually, I'm using that tooltip, one of my reports, uh, just to generate s for each of the control accounts because that someone asked me that and I, I didn't want to fill up an entire page with 15 s curve different for the different disciplines. So I just put that as a tooltip and they just love it, right? So hopefully you like that. I'm very sorry <laughs> I couldn't make that work during the live session, but there, there you have. It was just one step uh, missing and hopefully you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.